Hello everyone and welcome to our technology showcase hosted by EC Professional Video and Sony. We're here today with Peter Abraham of Steadicam showing off the new Steadicam Archer. Now this is one of our newest systems. The Steadicam Archer 2 can handle camera payloads from about 10 pounds up to 26 pounds. I've got one of Sony's excellent EX3s on. We've got a wide angle adapter. We have the IDX CamWave, which is a high definition Wi-Fi based video transmitter. So we've really got a typical production package mounted on this Archer 2. And as you can see, the Steadicam does an excellent job of stabilizing and keeping the gear in one place as I move around. This is our new G40 arm. It has a 32 inch boom range, which is the largest boom range of any stabilizer arm in the industry. And the Archer 2 has an amazing new architecture that allows you to fold the components vertically in a very tight package for shipping. We have a wonderful new and innovative selection of accessories for the new HD cameras that will give you better color and better contrast and make all of your imaging world just perfect. <laughs> We've just been producing the tip and new DFX digital filter suite software, which has 2,000 of the tip and filter effects plus all of the Rasco lighting gels as well as all of the Dolbo special effect lighting. IDX is a company that is best known for providing cameras with a battery or a power supply uh, such as AC adapters, battery chargers and that sort of thing. This is an example of one of our batteries. It's a V-Lock type battery. This is one of our batteries that allows you to actually stack two batteries, therefore doubling the capacity, doubling the shooting time. We also offer something called a CamWave system. It's the CW5HD. It can run only on SDI, but it's either SD or HD SDI. We have it here uh, on a Steadicam rig. This is our E7 battery, our lowest end battery. This is the transmitter. As you can see, there's the SDI out of the camera coming into the transmitter. This is sent wirelessly to a receiver, which can be used either as a monitor or sent into an SDI switcher. It will send a beautiful signal up to 50 meters away. This is the KeyPro, and what we decided at AJA was uh, a lot of people have a lot of technology that's not digital yet. It's still tape. Yes. And, uh, and they're in love with it. They yes. still love the glass. They still love the way the camera works. It's almost a religious issue. So <laughs> what we're trying to do is save that technology for as long as we can. Okay. So we don't care what your output of your camera is. It can be HDMI. It can be HDSDI. It can be component. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take that and input it and we're going to capture it to the KeyPro. Now the KeyPro right. is basically a digital disc recorder. So it's a field recorder doesn't require a computer, everything's controlled and, and uh, runs it from here on the control panel right here on the front. So I'm going to a disk storage, spinning disk storage here. It takes the output of the camera from the sensor uh, before it goes through any of the camera's compression and takes that signal, converts it to ProRes on the fly. It can up convert, down convert, cross convert on the fly and records it. You see the key pro, it's up here what we call an exoskeleton, which is mm -hmm. an aluminum framework that mounts it on the camera and on the tripod head. Um, we can basically mount 15 millimeter rods on here. We can hang matte boxes off of it, batteries. Wow. It, it's very ergonomically set up. Camera controls are on this side of the camera. Mm -hmm. the, ca the controls for the key pro are on the same side of the camera. Excellent. The connectors are on the, that same side of the camera as well as the connectors for the key pro. Yes. The battery power. It generally mounts on the back of the camera, mm -hmm. and that's where the power goes in for the back of the key pro. Okay. Yep. We uh, are showing here the um, one of the products is the Sacrosum system, 
is a multifunction tripod system which uh, has the appearance of a traditional tripod with an elevation column which we can elevate and bring the camera up to about eight feet. It's a completely manual column which uh, is cushioned by air. So the drop, if I release the, the uh, brake here, it won't drop down quickly. It will move down slowly, so it's a safety feature. And all it is is pushing air out of the, out of the column. And the column can function as a monopod. Oh, wow. And then you can shoot with the camera mounted using the pan uh, and tilt fluid head. There's a little rubber base so it won't scratch the floor. And there's even a little uh, pad there so you can hold it in place. The other function is I can take the fluid head, remove this piece here, this here, and then the head can be mounted and just use it as a traditional tripod, a single extension tripod. Fourth function is that the spreader can be removed and the spreader itself becomes a baby tripod. Wow. And this piece snaps right in. So that's called the Sackler Zoom system. Now we're here with Joe Scamizzi from Sony. He's going to tell us a little bit about the latest and greatest that's coming out from Sony. Joe, would you like to tell us about the camera? Thanks. Uh, well, what we have here is our PDW F800. And what you're looking at right here is the top of the line for our XD Cam product line. It's the successor to many other cameras, including the PDW 700, the 355, the 350, and the 330. Um, the really, the, one of the coolest things about this camera is that we've taken over our entire XD Cam product line all the features that really have made that line stand out and put it into this camera. And on top of it, while a lot of those other cameras have been optimized for ENG workflows, uh, this one is optimized for narrative and cine style production, and that's how I have it built today. So, uh, just a couple highlight of the features are that this, uh, this is some of the cool things that it's even bigger brother, the F900 had. So, you have anamorphic flip in here. You have the ability to do slow and quick motion. You have multiple HDSDI outputs on it. You have uh, great audio control on the camera, and it plays really well in terms of metadata handling. So, not only now can you add information to the video you're shooting, but you can hook up a keyboard and type it in. You can, you can now even record low-res video at the same time to a USB flash memory stick so that while you're working on, product, on a production, you can begin editing at the same time with this low-res material. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for coming and especially thank those that made today's event possible. Uh, Albert Chan from EC Professional Video, Don Terranova, Tom Covey, and Joe Shimizi of Sony. Neil Pilzer of MPE, Joe Sclafani of Sony Leasing, Bob Jones of Sackler, Vinton & Petrol, Sandy Stern of Tiffin, Jay Ignashevsky of AJA, Chris Egan of Cache, Don Minardi of IDX, Don Peebles of Apple, Steve Stair of Steve Stair Associates, and our special guest speaker, David Sperling.